Welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Berlin, and today we are playing Final Fantasy XIV. Just want to invite you to subscribe if you are a fan of JRPGs, RPGs, uh, I don't know, cozy, fun, weird games, and stuff like that, because that's what we do here. Also play music sometimes, and uh, do artwork sometimes. So yeah, if you're into any of that, please subscribe. Otherwise, feel free to give a like on this video. And without further ado, yeah, let's get started. We are continuing with our main scenario today. This quest that says life, materia, and everything. It's a little windy out, so I hope that doesn't interfere with the stream, but we'll see how it goes. Though we seek a peaceful solution to the primal problem, we must needs be ready to fight our cause. Hi guys, welcome in. That you might take to the field suitably prepared, I would have you meet with a goblin acquaintance of mine. His name is Mutamix Bubblypots. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And he is a scholar of no small repute. <laughs> hey, Gemini. Mutamix is renowned for having introduced a revolutionary method of enhancing equipment to Orzea. The knowledge of this method was once a closely guarded secret, but thanks to Mutamix and his students, it has now been disseminated to the great benefit of all the realm. It would serve you well to acquire an understanding of the process. For this purpose, I shall land up in central Thedalan, a place known as the Bonfire. Look for a pillar of smoke and the way will become clear. <laughs> his street name. Their street name is Mutamix Bubbly Pats. Love it. So where, where exactly are we going here? Up yonder. So, Blackbrush Station. Yeah. Yeah. I love when we can just teleport. I love it. Until I run out of gill. And then I'm sad. <laughs> distracted by those guys that guy's ears the cat ears I thought it was a helmet at first I've got the chocobo person here right yes the bonfire I do like this music here. I'm not going to say what it reminds me of. Not today. Hi, Sean. I have a really bad habit of, say of doing that. Like, just repeating myself whenever I get reminded of something. So, trying to get better about that. <laughs> Look at all these things. Squid bros. I like the goblins in here in this game. They're so cute. Look at his house. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Silly. I love this little bouncing kettle house. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. It, yes! <laughs> Desert name. That's right. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's adorable. It looks like a little face. Ah! Cute. Okay. Oh my goodness, I get this little purple pig. Oh, baby behemoth. That's adorable. Okay, alright. Yes, TikTok. 
Definitely. Definitely Psh. see that. Psh, ska. Who is Uplander come to Ted's ring of Mutamix bubbly pots? I brought you this shiny knife. Come in peace. I know. <laughs> Fighty tool drinks in airy self. The full of airy self, fighty tool changes to stony shine, name of materia. If materia joined with other fighty tool, the big eyes, fighty tool gains power of airy self. <laughs> Pshka. Mutamix is reckoning that Uplander is friend of Minfilia. Yes, tongue flaps reach ears of Mutavix with fastness. Midvilia wants Uplander to see power of materia. Uplander brings Flighty Tool to Mutavix, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Screw Flighty Tool is strong and unstrong as eating tool. Makes good teachy show power of materia. The Materia Master. <laughs> His little arts. <laughs> now eyes of Uplander point as Fighty Tool, yes? Shh. Materia joined with Fighty Tool. <laughs> Fighty Tool gains power of Materia. Fighty Tool reborn. Here, Uplander, take Fighty Tool to the Delia. Materia, strictly speaking, is a kind of crystal. It is created by drawing up the etheric constituents from a piece of equipment and then crystallizing them. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. It must have sufficient spirit bond. That being a measure of how fully an item has been imbued with its owner's spirit. When ye attach a piece of materia to gear, ye imbue the host item with its power. That's how Master Mutamix turned that dagger of yours from summit as one of struggled to cut stake into a weapon worth wielding. Pshh, Uplander wishes to be joiner of materia? Then Uplander best fill brain case with no wings of crafty making. <clears throat> with no wings of crafty making, Uplander become, can become joiner of materia. If Uplander wants brain case to rattle with knowings of materia, Uplander best trade tongue flaps with learning ones of Mutamix. <laughs> so go talk to these people. That's so funny. Yay, materia! <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta go back to her. Talk to this guy, please. What would you say if I told you that inanimate objects could possess a soul? They can, believe it or not, although the soul in question is not their own, but that of their owner. Through faithful service, the arms and armor that we use so come to hold our spiritual energy. Thus, we do form a spirit bond with them. This spiritual energy be can be drawn out and converted into materia, a special kind of crystal that can be attached to gear to enhance its properties. I am well versed in the ways of ex materia extraction. If you wish to learn more about the process, it would be my pleasure to teach you. It's always interesting to see how they uh, make in materia involved in the game. Like how different different stories the materia is forged or formed from different things it's cool it's not always the same thing right i know right like you just sort of casually like sacrifice people every so often just get some dementors be like suck out their soul already we need we're running out of materia <laughs>
<laughs> True. We are back. Welcome back, Burr. I trust your visit to the bonfire proved fruitful. Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of materia can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired, but one need only look upon the results to realize such efforts are worthwhile. As I am sure you are aware, the quality of one's equipment can be the difference between victory and defeat. Materia may well give you the edge you need, Burr, so make it your ally. Now it is time we discuss the matter of your next mission. Pray speak with me when you are ready to begin. Spiritual sweat. That's an interesting way to think of it. But basically, yes. <laughs> Benfilia would like you to assist the immortal flames. Word has arrived from Thancred concerning your ongoing investigation. It appears that he was able to extract some information from our friend August, the false priest. He revealed that he is due to meet with the Amalja to discuss their dealings. The immortal flames believe that the meeting will present an ideal opportunity to ambush and capture the Amalja responsible for the abductions, and so they mean to have August attend as planned. As the Amulja are anticipated to offer fierce resistance, the Immortal Flames have requested our support. I would have you provide it to them, Burr. Then Crit is presently attending to another matter, but will join you as soon as he is able. Until such time as he does, you will be the Scion's sole representative on the ground. Before he left, he bade me tell you to save some for him. Such is his confidence in you, a confidence I share. When you have made ready, pray take yourself to Camp Drybone and report to the Flame Sergeant leading the mission. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Da -da -da -da. May you walk in the light of the crystal. August. August. I love this little awful statue. So funny. It's got that little mustache. It's hilarious. <laughs> it just looks like a fake mustache. Go to your dry mode. I think we could uh, teleport there. Yes. Banana, please do it, it is. Banana. I think I should collect these. I wonder if there's any fun quests here. What do they got? Seeks an adventurer to put down some mongrels. <laughs> yes. Looking for a bit of work, are we? Well, it just so happens I'm looking for someone to put down some mongrels. Seven of the beasts. The bloody things have nearly overrun 
the area to the southeast of here. They attack the locals, livestock, ought that moves. You needn't show the foul things any mercy. Oh, that's not all dogs go to hell. I wouldn't kill dogs. <laughs> Are you coming to grieve this? Have you lost someone dear? Ah, I see. Simply another fair adventurer come to our outpost. Well, in that case, I have an adventure for you. What say you make for the plains to the east and carve me up five cuts of sirloin from some Biotragus nannies? <laughs> I just went intern work in a cooler location. Seriously. I just go, I'm a gopher. Let's go get things and come back. Go to the next thing. Pretending to a wounded man at the end who is close to death, we would like nothing more than to give him a feast of nice, juicy Miatragas sirloins for what might well be his last meal. Once you have the sirloins, take them directly to Sister Zozoru at the end. Oh, the dying wish. That's so sad. Is he up here? Very close. Ooh, I love this guy in this game. So cool, uh, like you can see different planets and stuff. It's so neat. Oops, I went too far. Or maybe it's up here. Ooh. That bird? That's so crazy looking. Okay. Not sure what that is, <laughs> but it's cool. Hello, maybe he's down there. <laughs> it's hard to tell with these maps. Ah! It's <laughs> just, just a, p a bit. Oh, is it? Not here, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, he's in here. Or Canada. Canada's on fire. Oh, what is that? Storm's Path? Hold up, I have to read about that move. I do not know what that is. Delivers an attack with a potency of 100. So is that just a stronger babe, or should I? Oh. No? Is there anything? <laughs> Why did you like it? Should I just replace babe with this, you think? Probably? Maybe. It's very praiseable. It's the only thing about these games, I'm like, I don't like when I learn new moves because then it's like I have to reorganize things. So does it... Does that... What does that mean? Sorry, I'm such a noob. <laughs> does it automatically happen? Is it one of those? So should I replace Heavy Swing or keep Heavy Swing there and move like, just remember to hit it after? Yeah, that makes sense, sexy. Because I've definitely seen that, like it says, combo action. Cool. Yeah, I've got to rearrange these, this toolbar anyway, but... Probably fine for now. But... Yeah, I'll just rearrange it tonight before bed. <laughs> That's usually what I do. Is before bed, I'll look at like the hot bars or like when I fixed the the HUD. I was like, do that. That's what I do before bedtime.
Okay, cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate that a lot. I'll leave it where it is on the bar for now, because I don't feel like fighting with it, but I will try that out. I'm very curious. Ah, you're Berlin of the Scions. My thanks for coming, friend. We're strong for your, we're stronger for your assistance. Allow me to brief you on our mission. Our objective is to capture Amalja and prease from them the whereabouts of the abductees. The lizard men aren't aware that their man Ungust has been exposed. When they come to the rendezvous point to meet the traitor, we'll spring the trap. Owing to the clandestine nature of the mission, we can deploy only a small contingent. Every member must count, and so now, and so we requested the aid of the Scions. <laughs> the rendezvous will take place at the Invisible City. Please make your way there and lie in wait. We stand to learn much and more of the Amalja pot if the mission succeeds, Burr. Let's make sure it does. I love that. The Scientologist. <laughs> Perfect. Our little cult, I mean, organization group. This chocobo just walking around. So I gotta go to this I invisible city. Do I even know how to get there? Oh, I wonder, have I been up here before? Maybe. Probably not. Good exercise, yo. Oh yeah, it's like right up there, so I should, I would do that. We're just gonna ride this truck up. Do, do, do. It's only a minute. A little bit of ride. Yeah. I haven't seen too many other players so today. <clears throat> so far. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Everybody's avoiding this area. <laughs> They're all hanging out in Limsa <laughs> Dancing and listening to Bards play. Showing off all their glamour. I think it's funny how they just like, everybody just stands there. Like, posed like this. <laughs> Lulu, though. No. Oh, yeah, I gotta go kind of slightly out of the center. My little puppy following me. I smell what? You smell of the dead, a bit of the runes, eh? Ugh. Well, this rain will certainly help. Oh, rotted corpse. Ah, I see. I wondered if this is gonna be like another something. <laughs> Don't you? It's gonna be tough. Level twenty-four. Baited place. 
<laughs> I can't. The Lala fells. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Our man is in position, sir. Good. We make our move as soon as the Amalja appear. Yes, sir. <gasps> oh, they're so freaky. Big lizard people, lizard tigers. Wow! What is the meaning of this? Wait, something's in this. They were expecting us. <laughs> oh no. Hee hee hee. Ah! <laughs> I'm afraid you're a little I'm much unseer. What a jerk. I eluded the immortal flame's clutches for the moons before the finally being caught. Did you not wonder how I managed it? I hate when double traps happen. What the heck? It was almost as if someone was feeding him information from the inside. Gah ha ha. Aye, your every movement was known to be ahead of time. Hee hee hee. Now, as much as I'd love to chat while, I have appointments to keep. They're all yours. from behind. I hate the targeting of this. Kicking you with something. You really want to pinch it in his, like, smug face. He just got one of those very punchable faces, you know? Ugly lizard people. Ah. We 
fell into a double trap. We thought we set a trap for somebody, but then they actually set a trap for us. So... Yeah. Ooh, what did it happen? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, did we break it? Okay. <laughs> I hate that. I've had that happen so that. Sephiroth's theme song. Starting. Put up your weapon or your comrade's a dead man. Behind you! Absorbed it. Oh no. She was baits at the wrong time. Bring her. The rest of you, march. Traitorous scum. Oh. <laughs> Using some random stock sound effects. Ah, so, uh, that was not what I expected to happen at all. Now we're prisoners! Is this water? Yes. Stark water. It's the well. These waters feed into the marshes of Drybone. Short swim will see us to freedom. However, if all of us attempt to flee, we are like to be discovered. You alone must sneak out and assemble a rescue party. Once you have one free, seek out our comrade station at Drybone. He will show you the way back here. May the twelve speed your way. Uh, no, hold on. There's other things I have to do. <laughs> so, hold on. Is he gonna tell me to go talk to that guy? <laughs> I fear the Amalja mean to give us their god as an offering. Give us to their god as an offering. If I must die, then let me die a soldier's death with steel in hand. The bowl of ember is still accessible. Oh. So wait. So now we gotta go through this dungeon, I guess? Do it. Could take a drink real quick. Oh no, I, I'm scared. I'm honestly pretty scared. <laughs> We got this. Oh, I'm freaking out. Just gonna overpower everything. Lord of the Inferno, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery. <laughs> hey, we just had one of those. Oh, Ifrit, though. Oh, mighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno. Hi, Aramel. Your humble servants beseech you. Grace us with your divine presence. <laughs> A 
Oh mighty Ifrit, we bring before you ignorant savages who know not your godhead. If it please you, Lord, scorch their heathen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. But bloody hells! Bring those two as well. Ugh. What's going on? This ain't what we agreed! <laughs> None but servants of Lord Ifrit may hold the, behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No, spare me, I beg you! That guy's evil. He should go be fed to Ifrit. Wow. Ifrit looks cool. Pitiful children of man, by my breath I claim you. Rise once more as my loyal minions. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. Oh, mighty effort. My one true God. Your words are my bread. Ooh. Impossible! By what sorcery do you resist my master's will? Could it be? Your soul already belongs to another? Yes, that is the only explanation. <gasps> Doesn't make him very happy. Forsooth, thy frail mortal frame can serve as a vessel to the blessing of but one. Yet I smell not the taint of another upon ye. The truth of thine allegiance waxes clear. Thou art of the goddess Godless blessed number, the paragons warned of the, thine abhorrent kind, thine existence is not to be suffered. Oh no. I thought the same thing, Sean. <laughs> Hard for me. Oops. I was, I was <laughs> yeah. You're pretty close, though. Tricky with that hellfire. It is. Yeah, and it's it's like you think if you could just smash through it, because usually you can. Okay. 
Don't run. Don't just look at me. Just leave them alone. Okay? No, man. Come here. Thank you guys. Thank you for helping me. It was so nice. Shiny red crystal. It's so cool. Very Tron, yeah. <laughs> Seen some binary run across. Pray forgiveness. Pray forgive my lateness. Oh yeah, what this asshole? <laughs> Excuse me. It's okay, I guess. Just fought a god or whatever. <laughs> I was delayed by a congregation of emulsion zealots. I swear, each seemed more ev evangelical than the last. Oh. Persistent bot. <laughs> Phew. I see the blood sword wasted no time exactly the cat extracting the captives, the less than I'd expect from the flame generals he had picked them in. <laughs> As for those two, it is fair to say their hardships have only just begun. They have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, Burr. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left you face it alone. You have been given a veritable baptism of fire. <laughs> but let us continue this conversation in more agreeable surrounds. Camp Drybone, shall we? This way, sir. The upbeat adventure music. So that was the mighty Ifrit. Oh yeah, this guy. I wondered how disappointed he was. The readings are nowhere near what I had anticipated, even taking Uldan interference into account. You should know better than to rely upon five-year-old data left by the Seventh Legion. Nowhere can we expect any form of support from the Motherland, given the troubles at court. We have only ourselves to rely upon. Never the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. But you've wasted enough time here. That, that, that meter of yours is too old to give any reading worth a damn. It's got a funky helmet. Not that there was aught worth a damn for it to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must content ourselves with the knowledge that we have achieved our primary objective. Yet I find that I am troubled by that adventurer's unexpected show of strength. Could such a could such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but that is a consideration for another time. You have been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do as my lord commands. 
that I will spare the trouble of punishing you. <laughs> Did she punish? With allies like that. Beware, woman in love. I shall need to be on my best behavior. <laughs> Maybe. The Scientologist meter. Well. Yeah, this looks a lot nicer than where we just left. Even though it's still quite dry. Oh no. What the heck are these dead bodies? This place is just always covered in dead bodies. It's quite depressing. <laughs> There you are, Burr. Come, rest a while. You have no better opportunity. After witnessing their god's ignominious, ignominious defeat, Yamelja will be less inclined to risk our wrath, for a time at least. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, I was in the process of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use to you or the abductees. <laughs> they may be whole of body, but the same cannot be said of their minds. For once a man is tempted. Ah, but it ill suits me to dwell on the negatives. Amidst all our misfortunes, there is still reason to rejoice. If it is slain, and by your hand, no less. That is the deed of no ordinary individual, Burr. Not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I have long suspected that you have the potential to shape the fate of this realm. What can I say? My fine eye for talent remains undimmed. Midphilia will be proud beyond all reckoning when she hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to my bearing the tidings to her. That way I can claim to have contributed something to the mission. <laughs> he just covered his butt. You, meanwhile, have earned yourself a rest. Take some time to relax and return to the waking sands when you are good and ready. We can discuss matters in more detail then. Just don't take too long, will you? The realm's problems won't solve themselves. All right. Gosh. Do we get anything for that? I think we have to go to her. What? I had this? I didn't know I had that. <laughs> it's like I have that this whole time. have a little boat follow me. <laughs> Aww. It's my own little airship. That's so cute. Gotta check my bags for it. I have all sorts of fun stuff in here. <laughs> Is that the name of the quest? <laughs> Ship up or shape out. Yeah, it's just it's really cute actually. I really do really like my little doggy. He's so stinking cute. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad I looked in there. But anyway, I guess we'll go back to... Yeah, exactly. Spit little toad out. Oh, I can't wait to have a belt. I've seen some really cool ones. It's awesome, just like how many different types of like minions and belts there are. It's really cool. Too many mounts or never too many minions, for sure. Just ask any super villain. You need the minions. <laughs> ah, the triumphant hero returns. Then Grin told us the news upon his arrival. He is presently in the solar, giving a full report to Lady Menphilia. You should join them at once. Lady Menphilia is most eager to see you. My late arrival nearly cost Burr her life. I wasn't there when the Amalja took her prisoner. And I was aware of where there when they served her to Ifrit. Yes, by some miracle she survived. But that does not excuse the fact that she should never have had to face such dangers alone. I failed her utterly. Just as I am failing you all. What's done is done, Dagrid. You can ill blame yourself for every... <laughs> Runa over here. Bird, it's so good to see you again. <laughs> Impeccable timing, my friend. I had just finished regaling Midphilia with your heroic exploits. Nightgrid has told me everything. You have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear. And now we can put paid to our long investigation. As we suspected, the Amalja took undertook both the robbery and the abductions with the aim of summoning their primal Ifrit. Nor is this tale limited to Ulda. Similar incidents have been rife in both Limsa-Limsa and Gridania of late. Yeah, there are lots of kidnappings before in Limsa. I dare say you've been curious as to how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals must consume ether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more ether they require. Now, ether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permeates the very air that we breathe. Alas, this alone will not suffice, it, suffice to sustain the likes of Ifrit. Nay, he and his kind require a more concentrated source of ether, crystals. It's for this reason that incidents involving crystals can often be traced back to a primal. Which leaves us with the why of the abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. <laughs> the shorts. <laughs> When all is well within the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of ether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon toward which a primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together, or etheric coalescence, which grants these beings physical form. 
Once born, a primal gains strength from its followers' worship. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful their god becomes. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherents freely give. In order, in order to gain more power, they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yet even as Ifrit took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remained unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We know not the why of it, but those blessed with the Echo are immune to primal influence. It is as though a greater power protects us. When, force, when first you came to us, I told you that the Echo would be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents all share a common trait, meticulous planning. Such elaborate designs are a new development, and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. <laughs> While I share your concern, my presiding feeling is one of relief at your safe return. Ah, the immortal flames assured me that they will deal with the aftermath, so you need not concern yourself with that. We may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Burr. You may be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who fell different, I fear you will have nary a moment to yourself. Whether she intended to or not, the feeling neglected to tell you something, something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. It concerns the temperate abductees that were rescued. I am sorry to report that all are to be put to death. The flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. I swear to you that we would not do this if there were any other recourse. But once a man is tempered, he is tempered for life. His very existence lends strength to the primal whom he cannot choose but worship. Oh my gosh, that's awful. And so we scions continue our fight, that no more innocents need be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us, Burr. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for the losses his people suffered. Till next time. Gods forgive me. How many more lives? Louis Sue would never have allowed this to happen. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. Well, that's terrible. I did not know that they had to kill them. But it makes sense. I got a funny feeling about these guys. Just, uh, I was so moved by... I was so shocked, I should say. By that revelation. That is really sad, though. Like... Why, why did we even, like, bring them back? Why didn't we just let, like, kill them there? I don't know. <sighs> what a bummer. Man, sorry, my nose is being stupid tonight, too. Anyway. Ay, ay, ay. Guess we'll just grab this while we're here. Start this up. Until not so very long ago, you were but one of the many adventurers seeking to make their way in or Orzia. But for your character and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of an envoy. Therefore, you traveled the realm, aiding those in need without thought of reward, confirming to Ishtola that the Scions would benefit from your aid. And no sooner had you joined us than you personally bested the primal Ifrit. You have achieved a great deal in a short time, and won fame in so doing. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. We have guests, Burr. Or rather, you have guests. Do I have fans? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at their outfits. I have fans! Ah, oh, 
Lady Vincilia, Radiant as always. I am given to understand that the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero into their midst. I am here on behalf of the Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limsa Lewinsa, to offer said hero a place of honor within our ranks. <laughs> she just shrugs. She's like, eh. As you can see, Berg, your recent exploits have garnered you the attentions of the Grand Companies of Orzea. Each organization would have efforts paid for its own. To this end, all three have sent officers to court you. <laughs> they would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist a new recruit. recruit. That they have is evidence of their high regard for you. I find myself wondering how word of Burr's deeds spread so quickly. That the immortal flames should know of her triumph is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? <laughs> Eep! <laughs> She's got a big mouth for a little person. A little falafel. Your reputation precedes you, Mistress Lynn. <laughs> Tis no ordinary woman who could face a primal and emerge the victor. The Order of the Twin Adder has need of valiant women such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us ensure that peace ever reigns over the Twelves Wood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you, Mr. Slid. My comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. A woman of your talent belongs with the Immortal Flames. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together let us secure a prosperous future for Ulda. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you have the look of a hero. Full often does she speak of you, friend. As do many others in Limsa. Long before the rest of Orzea took note, your name was well known to us, owing to your valorous deeds on behalf of our citizens. It is only natural that she would want you that we should want you for the Maelstrom. Join your strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limsa Limsa to the shores of glory. <laughs> it's like, uh... Lady Midphelia. Ah, very well. Though I am quite sure you need no reminding, mayhap a brief summary of the situation would help to clarify your thoughts on this matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are all-encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial, economic, and technological resources. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that, but I did. There are presently three such organizations in Orzea, the Maelstrom of Limsa, the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania, and the Immortal Flames of Ulda. <coughs> serving a grand company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return for your faithful service, you will be furnished with various rewards, some of which may well prove useful to you in your other endeavors. If you are agonizing over which of the great companies best deserves your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make this day need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are entitled to do so. And yet, I concede that it is no small choice you face. Ah, a thought occurs to me. You will, of course, recall that the three city-states are planning to hold remembrance services. Well, as part of the proceedings, I am given to understand that the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? A fine suggestion. You are as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well. Let beer... Beer. <laughs> Burr here, our leader, speak. Then return here with her decision. It's a tongue twister, I tell you. We eagerly await your answer. They love me. They really love me. <laughs> beer lit at your service. The mighty hero. Uh, I know full well that adventurers are by their nature a liberty-loving breed, and not best suited to the discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you to join a grand company nonetheless. While the promise of reward is enticing in itself, it is not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, Burr, 
and with it you are capable of doing untold good. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> Yet know that great power is wont to attract attention. Not all of it friendly. I thought she, I thought she was going to say with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> uh, there will be those who wish you well, and you must needs be on the lookout for them. Yet however vigilant you are, you are but one woman. In the midst of a grand company, however, you will be one woman against amongst many, a friend amongst friends. Your achievements will be shared, and so will the danger. I can think of no better arrangement. Of course, joining one organization need not mean leaving another. I hope that we can continue to rely upon your aid. The Twelve know that we will have need of it in the days ahead. <laughs> With great power comes great bartending. <laughs> The Grand Cousinies seek to protect their own nations. We Scions, on the other hand, seek to preserve the future of Orze as a whole. Similar, yet not quite the same. Now then, I expect that you will be a field more often in the future. As such, I would have you carry this Link Pearl with you at all times. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of location. <gasps> Is it a cell phone? <laughs> Orze is changing, Bird. You have the power to help shape it anew. Yes, that too. Great costume comes great responsibility. None can say what the moral will bring, but so long as we believe in ourselves, there is naught we cannot achieve. Now, it is time you made ready for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Tataru. She will appraise you, appraise you as, to with, as to where and when the remembrance services are due to take place. Cool, we gotta go listen to some speeches it's not a hard duty wait what's this link pearl what a link pearl do I not have it physically got a branch <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I thought I got a cell phone. Moving on up in the world. Hit <laughs> fifth shift reporting. This game is so fun. Definitely enjoying it a lot. Oh, okay. Interesting. I, um, I'm sorry about all the attention you're getting, Burr. I might have sung your praises a little too loudly and often to a few too many people. <clears throat> Next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue, literally if necessary. Anyway, I expect you want to know where and when the remembered services are taking place? If all goes to plan, Gradania's Greg Company, the Order of the Twin Adder, will hold the first of the three services, and Elder Seed Seer Khan E. Sena will deliver her address at Bini Keto's Amphitheater. I should probably mention at this point that due to the organizational challenges evolved, evolved in assembling all of the involved parties, it's possible that the order of the services might change. Still, there's not much we could do about that, so make Gradania your first port of call. Next, you'll need to go to Ulda, where Flame General Rahman Alden will be addressing the masses at the Royal Promenade. Oh, and it's rumored there to be a special guest. How exciting! Last but not least, you must make your way to the state room in Limsa Limsa, where Maelstrom Chief Admiral Whirlwind Loftswind will be giving her address. The room is accessible via the Admiral's lift. Identify yourself to the sentry, Xanthael, Zand and he will admit you. Got all that? Well, off you go then. I hope you find the Remembrance Services suitably educational. I suggest... Well, I suggest visiting the city-states in my prescribed order... Though, with the re your record of impeccable timing and luck... Oh my gosh, sorry. My dog just 
flicked water all over. The schedule may well change in favor of your preferred travel plans. Farewell. Ew. He's got long ears that get in his water bowl and then he shakes his head and it gets everywhere. He's got a little shower, that's all. <laughs> oh yeah, I said an owl. It's not failed anybody at Hogwarts yet. Shiny. So Gradania is the first one. Cool. I really like Gradania. I think it's so pretty. I would want to live in Gradania. So wait, I... Am I here? New Cretania? Am I an old Cretania? I'll just go here. We'll see. <laughs> Take me right back to where I'm at. Love when I do that. Yes. So pretty. Okay. It does. It like reminds me of I don't know, kind of like hobbits, but kind of not at the same time. I feel like is this is a crazy gift monitor. Is it up here? Oh. Shadow Bower. Oh, Luffy. <laughs> The monkey D Luffy. Hello. Uh, where am I in relation to this? Oh, wait, right there. Oh, so I did, I did it just like over this way. Took a wrong turn, I see. Went right instead of left. Uh huh. This looks about right, eh? Ready to listen to a speech. I lost my son to the calamity. The three seed seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. I may have, JC. <laughs> Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Fearful of the Green Wrath. They hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gridania was born some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization, 
and soon they were joined by folk of all races. So nourished by the waters of unity and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the Elder Seed Seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hur and Elizen. An elegant symbol, do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the Elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day, for soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed, each waking hour a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk on the high bloody roads without fear. On this day, Five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? Wow, she really is a cynical girl, isn't she? The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored, not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you, 
Join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder Standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children! Woods will be done! It's up to us to protect the forest! All the elementals! Yeah, I think Merlwib uh, was the one who told us about that. Like the amnesia. I think it was her. That's what they. it makes me think of. The symbol. Hey, those. If you'll permit me, Alfie, no. <sighs> These two, they're evil. They just. You could. I could smell it a mile away. At your service. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. Gritanians are unfortunate enough to have to contend with two beast tribes. The Ixal are unquestionably the more troublesome, being of a naturally warlike disposition, and want to summon their bloodthirsty primal Garuda. The Sylphs, by contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent, and have long been on friendly terms with the Gritanians, until recently at least. Alas, they have grown aloof, a change observed at roughly the time they summoned the primal Ramu. The Gridanians have no love for war, and they consider open conflict a last resort. Though they clash with the Ixal ever more regularly, you may be assured that they do so in self-defense. As for the Sylphs, they are as yet bound by a peace treaty, though one wonders how long it will be before it is broken. The Twelve Sword was grievously wounded during the Calamity, leaving Gridania vulnerable to attack. The people are hopeful that restoring the wood, and thereby the power of the elements, or elementals, will put an end to their woes. Yet how long will that take? Centuries, I wager. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Ixal will continue their incursions. Spurred on by Garuda and her insatiable appetite for destruction. Whether Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to all-out war. And when it does, the Order of the Twin Adder will need all the help it can muster. How valuable might the aid of a capable adventurer prove to them then? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Restore the wood. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Cool. I think I'm gonna leave the other two for tomorrow because we will be back tomorrow but thank you guys so much for hanging out I really appreciate it thank you for all your help because if it was tough and I would have died many more times without the input from everyone um, just remember to like if you haven't yet and subscribe if you're new and keep an eye on that community tab because that's what I'll be posting next we do have a Discord now. I put it, the link in the community tab as well. So, yeah, I think that's everything. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you.